in today's mobility training tip, I will be covering halos. This is one of the three exercises that Steve Maxwell, the first American Jiu-Jitsu black belt under the Gracies. Uh, he's a big time strength conditioning coach. In that world, he's probably one of the biggest, I think, pioneers in terms of being able to integrate sport performance and rehabilitative and therapeutic based work. He uh, recommended these three exercises that I've been covering lately. Today we're with the Halos, but he recommended these to Dan John, who is also one of the pioneers of the strength conditioning world. And he was actually maybe the first American track and field coach, like strength conditioning coach. It may not be exactly right on that, but he is definitely one of the first in that industry. So halos that he recommended is just one of the most bang for your buck exercises for overall body health. You got a kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever. Gripping here. And I like to focus on really gripping this tight because if we're gripping this lightly, then we're using our front belt and we're kind of like really using this part of our shoulders that we're wanting to mobilize. So we're gripping tight, elbows tight, and we're just rotating out here and around. And we go back the opposite way. And again, that strong grip of the hand is allowing me to transmit the force and the tightness in my hands so I can allow my shoulder girdle to mobilize and open up. I'll give you a bit of a side angle here. So I'm kind of rotating around like 45 degrees and around 45 degrees here. Elbow staying tight. Go back. This is an exercise I like to use in between sets when I'm doing like my weight training, my strength work. Something that you know you can use to just open yourself up. It shouldn't feel taxing. You know, if you're using too much weight, if it's like feels like it's really working this part of the shoulder, it should really feel like you're opening up and mobilizing the joint as a whole. It's also helping you uh, get the stability because you got to anchor the shoulder down. You know, where you're kind of pinching and just locking this down, and then you meant to work this open. So when you're doing that, just focus on staying solid for your feet, being calm and relaxed, breathing, and if you want to hold some tension, hold it in your hands because you can work on your grip strength that way. If you found that tip helpful, guys, connect with me below. I've got a free ebook down there that can really help you improve your overall body movement, movement autonomy, vitality, and for performance. And uh, just some support to the channel. I'm putting a lot into this. Hope to help you guys. Hope you have a good day.